Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of November 5th, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. If any of you have a Gemini connection, Gemini will be getting the bonus monthly video for November, so be sure to check the playlist for that. Also, if you guys are seeking a psychic reading, please contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to that below this reading. And if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, and retweet them. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. Virgo, first of all, strength is on your side this week, and that covers all categories and anything that you say or do. Your drive for success is abnormally high. It looks like to be an incredibly busy week for you guys. Also, the end of an emotional cycle, the commencing of a new cycle. There's something that you're leaving behind in the past, something that no longer serves a purpose to you. Expect a good business deal, and there's some decisions to be made regarding business, and it's time to voice your opinion. Speak up and hold on to your goals. So let's take a look. This is for Virgo. This is for your week of November 5th, 2018. Virgo. Like another sign, you start with the Death card, followed by the Hermit card, the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Let me break this down for you guys, and I'm going to pull you three more. Where I said that this is the end of an emotional cycle, it may be just that. It may be emotional. Death card indicating the end of a negative cycle, end of a negative situation, rebirth, new beginning, things going your way, but definitely very strong under new beginnings. The Hermit is what I call your wisdom card. This is trust where you're being led. The path is led before you and trust in it. Know that you're doing the right thing at the right time. Five of Cups. Okay, Virgo, get out of your own head. Okay, you're way overthinking things. Let go of Follow the energy. Let that energy lead you through the week. Okay? Hold on to your goals, but don't overthink things. Now, as a warning card coming in with that Three of Swords, this is Three is a Crowd. Third person's unwanted advice, opinions, things of that nature. And remember at the beginning of the video, I said you're going to have to voice your opinion. This is going to be it. Next to that, we have that Two of Wands. As a decision-making process, you've got decisions to make in a lot of different areas this week. And with that, we have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, your second new beginning. Okay? Coupled with that Death card, this new beginning is now. It is in this week. Now, moving forward, Virgo, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands indicating reflection, looking over the past, what worked well for you, what didn't work well. Uh, taking from that, applying it to those decisions, and moving forward in a positive light. Eight of Swords, card of self-imposed restrictions. Okay, Virgo, what does this mean to you? Not only do we have that Five of Cups telling you to get out of your head, it tells you that no one is holding you back at this time but you. So please remember that as you move forward through your week. And the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, working and gaining finances are not too bad. Not exactly where you want to see them at this time, but they are slowly improving. So Virgo, two new beginnings. We saw that with the Ace of Swords as well as the Death card. Uh, end of a negative cycle, the beginning of a new cycle in a very positive light. The Hermit card let the energy lead this week. It shows right that you're on the right path and you're making those right decisions so thank you guys for watching please take the time to like share and subscribe and i will see you soon bye